call this place Cinder Hill. And actually it's just a big huge mountain and it's from the volcanoes. And all this rock is basically the cinder from the explosions. It didn't throw big rocks, it looks like it just threw massive amounts of these little tiny pumice particles. And so it's really kind of nice. Not much grows here as far as vegetation. And with that being said, there's really not many bugs, which is kind of nice. So we'll kind of check out over here. I've seen them. This must be like a little track for the kids because I've seen a couple kids on their little quads going around it and everything like that. So we'll walk over and see what that is and read these signs. And then hopefully later on, we can go way over to where it's a big open area, it looked like, and it's just laid with all this stuff here. So let's we'll check it out. It's a little difficult to walk into because it's uh, pretty thick. Yeah, riding a bicycle and it's got to be pretty hard too. I mean, sand's hard, but this looks like it's compacted, but it's really pretty hard. But one thing I did notice is when it rains, it doesn't get muddy and it goes away. Right. So what does it say? Closed to all motorized vehicles on that sign. Side. So yeah, they've got uh, a barrier here. You're only allowed to camp in this area. Uh oh, somebody lost their glove. Oh. As long as there's no hand in it. <laughs> it's like a little kid glove. Uh oh. Yeah, close to all vehicle, uh, motorized vehicles. Boundary closed to motorized vehicles beyond this point, except for on designated routes. Yeah, and there's. A lot of route, I believe. All over the place, yeah. Right. It's all open for uh, OHV areas. And it's funny they even kind of split the little hill in half. Oh, they did, yeah. yeah. Definitely razor territory. Shriveled up a little plant. Yeah. It's vegetation though. It's like it had a nice little flower at one time on it. Something grows in here. Right. Oh, and another thing I believe they did here, because I did walk over earlier and read the sign is they tested um the lunar landing module, uh the, the rover or whatever here. And I read the sign over there, we'll go over there later on. And they came in here and they blasted areas which made the terrain really uh like the moon they thought so it says that they came and tested the uh lunar landing four-wheeler or whatever out here but they may have also this could have been where they made the movie about the first landing they actually landed here in arizona they never landed on the moon <laughs> <laughs> it's a conspiracy theory yeah. but this is just a little track where the kids can come and play around and the parents can kind of sit and watch them so they don't go too far these pine cones are really cute. Nice little ones. Yeah, lots of them. You can smell the pine. Oh yeah. One thing we were told that we needed to be careful out of out here were scorpions. Ooh. Yeah. This is what Scott's talking about. Looks like the Little kids. Oh, I see. Little kids have been yeah. using this as a little track. Well, that's fun. We have seen some kids out here on their little dirt bikes. I haven't seen them up here. Have you? Oh, not since we've been here, but oh, um, that's cute. That's what I was told. The kids play on this little track. Yeah, very nice. And we do need to be concerned about rattlers up here nobody in this area has seen them up here yet because it's been kind of cold but today it's warm so I would imagine that if they're here they would be out sunning themselves well, I was a snake that's what I'd be doing yeah I'd be sitting up here it's gotta always be 
aware. Huh, just a rocky hill. You huh? almost wonder what's out here if there's not much vegetation for little mices to eat, then there's not going to be many mices, meese. Meese, mice. And so why would the snakes be out here? Well, I've seen, uh, what do they call them? Uh, the things with the t squirrels. Oh yeah, oh that's right, I've yeah, there's squirrels. I've seen squirrels out here. But right. they eat from oh. the trees, but. Yeah, there's, a, there's something that lives in there. Yeah. Oh. And you gotta be so careful because those snakes just blend right into the ground. Well, it's the second person that walks past that gets bit, right? Yeah, so I'll just stand right here. Okay, yeah, don't move. <laughs> All right, well, kind of cool. Yeah, at least it's a nice day. Right. Yeah, later on tomorrow, whatever, maybe we'll walk over to the uh, the other place. There's not a whole lot to do out here. Um, we are close to town. How far do you think we are from town? Um, like the first door is like four miles away, I want to say. It's about, a, we're in a mile. This marker basically is a mile from where the road is, and that's where they said you could start camping. And it does go way up that way uh, from what we understand. And uh, I think it's like three miles to like a first the first store. Yeah, town's probably only ten miles maybe. You're not allowed to camp out in this area. It's, there's a sign when you come in, and it says one mile uh, in is where you're allowed to start camping. So do be aware of that because we noticed that somebody had camp set up when we came driving through, which isn't uh, where you're supposed to camp. So. There's the donut they made. Their around business, and around so. and around. Oh, cute. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're going to go back to camp. Ooh, you can get slick under your feet. Yeah. They're rolling. Dirt. Yeah. <laughs> My souvenirs. <laughs> mm -hmm. We just got back to our little area here. We've been, uh, we have a, we have, we're utilizing Scottish bush box <laughs> to put the garbage in. This that I picked up, I think I'll put it up here and maybe one of the little kids would like to have just one to play with. Who knows? But got our picker upper and we're trying to do our part. Scotty, when we got here, there was a big, um, there was a big dumpster here. And what did you find out happened? Uh, it was kind of like a private company, a, a group of some people paid for that big, I think it was, God, 10 yard, that's a big, big dumpster. They paid for it and went around and cleaned the place. And then it happened to be here for Memorial Weekend and other people just piled on top of it and then piled around it. So then... The people that the, the uh, garbage company came out to take it away, but they couldn't because there was too much stuff around. So they had to bring another big one out, load that up so they could haul it out, the other one out, and then they hauled the uh, the second one out. This place is a pack it in, pack it out, but um, and I didn't find what company it was that uh, paid for the other um, dumpster, but. I definitely now want it's to gone. thank them. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's very absolutely. kind of you to come out here, whoever you are. If somebody's watching us and you know the group that came out to Cinder Hills and cleaned up, we appreciate that. And um, we're Don't trying... Don't want to lose this place. No, trying to do our part. GoPro, stop recording. Let's see if you guys can see okay. <laughs> Hey, I wanted to mention this because I showed this while we were setting up, but this is my official bonfire hoodie. Jay bought me this a while back, but it hasn't been cold enough for me to wear this. So, thank you, Jay. I love my sweatshirt. And we've got our grass out there that Teresa bought us, and I absolutely love that. So, thank you guys very much. Um, 
I wanted to, I'm gonna move the camera up just a minute here. And I'm all hooded up in here. <laughs> Scotty's over. <laughs> um, it's a little loud in here because we've got the heater going. So if you guys hear this kind of rumble, whatever, it's the mic picks it up really, um, really good. Uh, I wanted to say something about the last video. I think it was the last one that we just put out. No, it'll probably be two or three back. People were asking what app I used for the weather. It's NOAA, and there's there's a free trial that you can do. It says free trial for three days, or you can do a lifetime um, membership to it. I don't you I never did the trial because the trial is a three-day trial of the whole app you can use just the app of just the basics you don't have to um, you don't have to do the trial somebody had said you pay five dollars I think it was five dollars a month for this app because it's only a three-day trial no I don't we don't pay anything I just use the basic part of it um, if you want to try out the app for three days the full app then you do the three-day trial and then you can pay for it but I don't pay for that so Marin offered to make everybody uh, enchilada dinner and I offered to make a salad so that's what I'm gonna do tonight I'm gonna put a salad together. Let me see if I can turn some lights on for you guys. Um, we were going to have meatloaf, but since Ren offered to make enchiladas, we said that would be great and we'll participate in bringing something. everybody we're gonna go over and have some dinner that's what the salad looks like there's Rin so Rin made us enchiladas right yep Ooh. oh look at that yum and she made it in her cast iron yep. very good thank you Rin okay so Rin made that enchilada in this little oven here how big is the inside do you know it's how big is your pan? Well, you guys could see. About okay. That big. Yeah. That's so, a full size skillet, right? Well, not full size, but medium. Yeah, I can fit a Dutch oven in here and then two pans in there. Right. And that's on. where I keep my stuff when I'm parked. So. Cool. Oh, and then she's got the top burners here. Right on. And it's. Is it uh, propane or is it. Yes, yeah, propane. Propane. So, and the regulator comes out. I got a bottle down here, and then all my other pots and pans are in here. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep. Thanks for showing us. Yep. Oh, did, did she tell you where we were? Where no, Dana, Dana and Steve. We were with Dana and Steve, and they told us where you guys were. That they told us up here. Yeah. And that they left because of the noise or whatever from the rig. All right, we're gonna dish up our plates here. There's a salad here, guys, too. Yeah, I'm gonna do my enchilada and come back for salad. <laughs> okay, I'll just leave the lid on it. Here, Scotty, you wanna? Oh, that looks so scrumptious. Scotty, you wanna? Smells incredible. Okay. You want to hold that? Oh! Oh! Okay, here comes the wind, so hang on, uh, whatever you're going to do there. Uh -oh. Yeah, you got to get something on your actual plate because it's Well, it wasn't two seconds ago. It's literally, yeah. Two minutes ago, it was fine. 
Yeah. Oh, he's like yummy. Okay, put the lid on so because it's okay. gonna. It's Did gonna, you got both plates? Okay. I got both plates, but we don't want it to be frozen when okay. everybody else comes to get right. some. <laughs> All right, guys. We just came back from the campfire. My camera battery died and so I wasn't able to sit you guys out there so you guys can enjoy the fire too. But anyways, we're all done for the night. We're tired. We've had a good time with our friends that were here. And I think we're gonna we're making hot water bottles. <laughs> Scotty's making me a hot water bottle. It's gonna get down to about twenty nine tonight. So when it gets cold, Scotty always uh fills up one of those hot water bottles and he puts it in the bed down by my feet so that's what he's doing for me anyways thanks for traveling with us we love you guys and we'll see you guys another night or another day <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> i know it's been a long day yeah but a beautiful day yeah so we'll see you guys later remember be good be safe and respect each other yeah love you guys bye